Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. My name is Morgan Flowers. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey boo, welcome to another vlog. Um, today is actually Tuesday. It's giving busty. I need to take my hair out. Like, I just keep saying that, y'all. The track is out. Like, it's just sick. It's sick on this head right now. But I'm about to go and get the rest of my lashes removed. I'm um, just going to stop at my best friend's house. Because it's a couple little stragglers. And I just need... I need them gone. So, let's get that out of the way. But first, I bought the cutest little champagne flutes. Hello. They're so adorable. So cute. <laughs> I love the shape of them. They match the, the other, like, cocktail glasses that I bought that have that same, like, square type of vibe to them. Um, so I'm so excited to use those. I actually bought those for Galentine's Day. Um, and I also bought another tripod, which I will open with you guys when I get back. I'm running a little late, because I told her that I would bring her. We're gonna, I'm gonna stop at Starbucks for us, so I need to get a move on it. And I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so after I get my lashes removed, I'm gonna go to Target. Because I realized that I only have, I only have like clarifying face washes. I need a hydrating face wash so like the clarifying isn't drying my skin out so I don't need to like especially when I double cleanse I think you're supposed to go that what going with the clarifying first and then a hydrating face wash so that your skin doesn't get dried out from the clarifying and I was like I need a clarifying face wash <laughs> so I wanted to try the La Roche Posay I think I've I think I saw that they had a hydrating face wash um but um if I find another if I find another brand then I'll just go with that one. But I wanted to say something just real quick because um I saw this this tweet yesterday, right? And you know, I always got something to say. You know, uh <laughs> not always, but but it's just it's just an interesting concept. So the, the original tweet was this. It says we need to bring back secrets, privacy and gatekeeping. Stop oversharing, please. We don't want to know anymore. That you can agree with right like it's just like okay there are things that we don't have to talk about we don't have to tell every little thing okay I get that but the quote tweet the quote tweet says this is me with Pilates I truly wish a certain caliber of black women didn't discover it this is coming from a black woman right <laughs> you <laughs> you want to gatekeep something that's been around for long before we've heard of it and what caliber of black women are you talking about see this is the type of stuff that irritates me right because it's like what are you talking about like what are you what's the caliber black women who what don't meet up to the certain standard that you have in your head and then somebody was like i guess this is how white people feel about you when you came into the Pilates class like this is the same mentality that people carry when they talk about black women this is that's so sad to even say like i'm about to see if she still has a tweet up i'm really interested to see if she deleted it yet because she was getting she was getting smoked in the quote tweets as she should have i'm just like what are you talking about like y'all are somebody was like y'all are so intolerable like for real like you talk about a certain caliber of black women what's what's the caliber please explain the caliber like what are you talking about you mad because oh 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 this was this is what she said too she said because she saw a post about Ari said she wanted to try Pilates but with her faja on or like the the waist shaper thing what's her caliber though like somebody who doesn't know she was like yeah um that was just stupid like coming from um coming from someone who's been in Pilates knowing you need breath and blah 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 blah, blah. 
but what's the caliber that you're putting her into someone who just doesn't know i mean someone who if you have your body done then you wear your faha i think i think that's what it's called excuse me if i'm saying that wrong i think that's what it's called but if you got your body done then you wear it like that's what you do that's not a secret um but it just was like dis disgusting why are you saying this okay wait oh she didn't delete it she didn't delete it okay she ain't even, she said i don't care i stand on what i said period you know stand on what you said but you gonna catch the smoke though just know that but then she was like she said people are calling her anti-black and elitist it definitely is elitist because you're paying for a subscription to go to a class and you're mad that people who can afford the same class as you have come into this class that like it just gives me a headache <laughs> <laughs> then I saw this TikTok that was saying how Lululemon, they've equated Lululemon to white supremacy because I didn't even watch her whole video if we're being completely honest, but I caught some of her message. She was just saying how Lululemon has like a, a face to it. Like Lululemon has a certain person that they are pitching to, a certain um, client that they are selling, a certain client that they're trying to reach basically when they're, when they're selling their clothes. And it's not black women. But now black women have identified Lululemon as something that can separate them from other black women that helps them identify with white women because that's who Lululemon is targeting. Like, if you guys get what I'm saying, then just let me know. But um, it says, so you seek hobbies and activities based off of escaping and, run away, and running away from black people. Baby, these coloni colonizers will never see you as one of their own, no matter how much code switching or change in voice you do. You want to be a part of the Pilates Club, so bad. Welcome to Starbucks. Can I get you started with something, please? Yes. Can I just have... Do you guys have the Impossible Sandwich? We do. Can I just have that as well as um, a bacon sausage egg wrap? Uh, no. They haven't been setting up the bacon sausage wrap, so we can't do that one today. Okay. Um, okay, can I just move on to the drinks for now? Um, yeah. Until I... Java chip frappuccino? A venti java chip frappuccino? Yes. Can I have it with no whipped cream and two no whip. and two splendas? Two splendas? Okay. Um, can I also have um the cup lined with mocha? Yeah. And just for my other drink, can I have a venti iced matcha latte? You said a venti iced matcha latte? Yes, can I have that made with oat milk? Oat milk. And can I have caramel flavoring? Caramel syrup? Yes. Sure. And just give me one second. I'm just gonna. What else okay. do you guys have besides the egg wrap? Like, do you have another wrap? Uh, we have a spinach feta wrap. Just so you know, it's probably gonna be a couple minutes if you do that. Oh, uh, okay. All right. I'm trying not to hold up the line. No, I said they don't have the smoked wrap. They don't have that other one. Um, yeah. Can I just have the spinach egg wrap? Yeah, the spinach feta, absolutely. And that'll be all. All right. It's gonna be twenty three fifty six. Oh, no, bro. It, I said they don't have nothing else with meat in it. It's just the spinach. Actually, can I switch that? I can pull up if you need me to. Yeah. Um, you I said really you said just a sandwich. <sighs> it gives me anxiety. Thank you. Thank you. It gives me anxiety. Like, I... <sighs> Let me just shut up. Anyway, like I was saying... You trying to gatekeep Pilates as if you you not new here too. Like girl. Yo, look at how cute. The like little tables. The little heart. And then they also have a darker one. Like this. I think I will go with the lighter one. Found it. I was really on this aisle and they didn't have the La Roche Pose, so I Googled it but it's over here so i really need the, this one this is the hydrating gentle cleanser that i like i said i needed a hydrating face wash um and then purifying which would be like the opposite like i was saying i already have like purifying or clarifying whatever that same type of vibe i already have face washes like this i need something like this so i think i'm gonna go with this one 16 dollars child it's like nah okay I guess I always hear about Sarah V2, which is like, as you guys can see, it's the hydrating, which I guess would do the same thing. But I wanted to try this brand. You see how this got a little like fold in it? We gonna go with the other one. This one back here. And normal to dry skin. I have a combination skin though. I'm trying to think if that would matter. Let me see. Now 
it is time for lashes. I mean, child, not lashes, eyebrows. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Um, definitely look better than what they were looking like. But I was gonna try to record, but um, the angle of where their counter is in comparison to where the chair is, like the angle is too high, like it just looks stupid. I think I tried it before, but it don't look good. And when you get your eyebrows started, if you never gotten them threaded before, you have to hold your eye like this so that they can, like, so you can stretch your face and they can get the hairs as clearly as possible. So I can't hold my camera and, you know, so. Um, I'm done running around, child. I should have showed y'all what I got from Target. Um, but I kind of showed you guys. I got the La Roche Posay. <laughs> I like saying that. Like, why they name it that? La Roche Posay. La Roche Posay. I like saying that a little bit. <laughs> and then I got like some some candles for Valentine's Day. I got that little heart thing, the little tray. I wanted to go to the liquor store because I wanted to get a drink so that I can try and practice making a drink. I was thinking about that last night. But I didn't feel like going last night. I got off work. I was like, you know what? I'm going home. But um, I thought about that. I do want to practice a little bit. Not with the champagne flutes because I wanted to get some Prosecco for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going home. I'm about to take this hair out if we're being completely honest. Me and Tyra are supposed to go to Taco Tuesday later. And I can't, like looking like this is crazy. So I'm about to take my hair out. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. It's 11.40. But we're not going out until later. But I do want to do my makeup. I wanted to do a get ready with me type of thing. Like maybe like get dressed with me type of situation. Once I figure out what I'm wearing. But we're going to figure it out together a little bit later. But I'm definitely thinking about taking my hair. I'm definitely going to take my hair out. Like I'm just not, I'm just going to stop saying it. Oh I should, I should, I should. And just do it. <laughs> so I'll see you guys when I get home. Um, and yeah. Okay. Let's get into some of the things. Oh my gosh. This chair is going to hurt me. Oh my god, <laughs> my my sweats. But anyway, um, they they look much cleaner, you know. I I mean, it would have been nice. Ugh. My best friend was trying to get me to get my lashes done, <laughs> and I guess it would have been it would have been cute to get my lashes done with my eyebrows done, nice little combo. But um, let's just let's get into it. So like I told you guys already, the flutes. It only was a pack of two. I'm gonna put this down below because they're just so. They're just so stinking cute. I have to go get my other glass. The cocktail glass. It's just so cute together. Oh. <laughs> Not me growing my collection. Look at how cute. I'm going to make some cutesy little stuff in these. I'm so excited. Okay. Anyway. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course I have wine glasses. Um and stuff like that so but i wanted to show you guys also that i got a tripod and this is something that i've been seeing i wanted another tripod because my phone tripod it's broke like every time i go to move it up another level like extend the tripod it it doesn't stay there like it'll fall back down like it's broke so i was like morgan you might have to buckle down and get a decent tripod. i mean it's not it's not a decent tripod like it's not like heavy duty or anything but this is one that I've been seeing. It collapses pretty small, which I love. And this, I think this was popular on TikTok. I should have did a, I should do a, a TikTok video on it. I will, I will, I will. After I show you guys. Oh, I, okay. It's all packaged up, all nice. So, okay. I'm going to show you guys that in a second. I'm just going to, if I have storage, if my phone allows me, I'll do a TikTok video. But let's just move on. I also supported a black owned business. She has a makeup business. It's called Ava Beauty. A A E V A Beauty. I think it's Ava. Ava. But she's basically one of my mutuals. And she does makeup and stuff. And I was excited to just support her. And um, her business seems to be doing great. Like I always see her page is popping. Oh, look at how cute. See, I love this is this is the brand name. If you guys can see the A E V A. It's so bright in here that, okay, there it is. But yeah, this is the A-V-E-A. -E and it just says thank you, like a little thank you card. The personalized stuff, this is what like small businesses, this is what I love about small businesses. <laughs> Even big businesses do it sometimes too. But just like a specialized little thank you card. And it's here handwritten, Oh, Thank you, boo. 
Yes, I can't. She just said thank you, basically. <laughs> Um, but I just got a little, um, okay, she gave me a, a coupon code. But basically, it's like a highlighter, but I think you can, it's like one of those multi-use products. You can probably use it as eye, eyeshadow, eyeliner, blush. I mean, not eyeliner. Well, you probably could if you really a makeup girl like that. But basically, it's just literally a little blush. And I think I got it in either like a pink or red. It was really like, my purchase was Valentine's Day inspired because I was thinking I can get a really cute look out of it i have to take the the top layer off oh okay wait all right i might have to struggle with this for a second i gotta peel the top layer off but it's literally just like a red powder if you guys can kind of see it's literally just like a little red powder and it's called ruby blush so yeah it's like a red blush but i plan on using it maybe like on my eyes maybe to give like a cute reddish moment i thought that would be cute especially with valentine's day coming up and just like another way to practice <laughs> me and my practicing um, but when I open it, you guys will see it when I actually do my makeup and I actually use it. You guys will see how that applies. Well, let me just, let me just try and do it real quick. But it just was, I knew I was about to struggle for a second. I'm gonna just stop the camera because I'm about to just try and peel this off. <laughs> and I need to delete some stuff off my SD card. Ugh, stuff just be accumulating too fast. Okay, I got it. So let me see if I, oh, wow. That looks like it's gonna be pigmented. So I literally just put it. Oh wow. Oh wow. Like I said, pigmented. Very red. Like literally very red. That pigment is crazy, girl. Look at it. Ah, baby. When I say a little, you a little is gonna go a long way. Wow. I'm actually I'm excited to use it. But very pigmented. Like when I say use a little bit, use a little bit. But I'm going to put her brand below because, like I said, Black Owned Business, um, she's one of my mutuals on, I think, pretty much every platform. And she's very supportive, too. Like, you know, like you have that one support, one, like, mutual that's always commenting on your videos and supporting what you have going on. Like, she's one of those people. I love her. So, I was like, I have to purchase something from her, at least, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take it off now. Um, yeah. Oh, my gosh, y'all. We got to figure out what we're wearing later. We gotta figure it out. Okay, hold on. Okay, now that that's off, um, let's move on. Um, I was contemplating on, sh I keep saying it. I was contemplating on showing you guys this because it's not that deep. I'm being extra, that's all. I basically bought a game for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I just bought Scattergories. I haven't played Scattergories in so long. I just wanna open it. I'm about to open it and play by myself. It's like nah, it's like nah, but I just haven't played in so long and I saw a TikTok. I think I explained this, did I explain this to y'all? I don't know, but I saw a TikTok and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't played Scattergories in so long. Oh, just like, just, it's just kind of fun. I like stuff like this. The only games that I don't really, I can't really get into are like the clue games. Like where you have to figure out the murderer. Like I can never, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I just, they, I was never driven to those. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm so excited to play a little Scattergories. Okay, cool. <laughs> just setting up for, God, like, literally just setting up for Valentine's Day. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to show you guys everything that I, like I said, I'm not going to show you guys everything that I get because I want to save that for the Valentine's Day vlog. But... The pile is collecting. The Valentine's Day decor pile is collecting. Let me just record, try to record this as a TikTok first. And then I'll be back to show you guys. It's just literally just a collapsible tripod. Nothing special, child. But I still like to show you guys anyway. But okay. <laughs> okay, so I ended up filming the TikTok on my phone because I was confused. This thing goes extremely high. I think this is the popular TikTok one that everyone kind of had at one point. Um, but basically it just looks like this. It's just a little compact one. Great for travel, I would say for sure. Excuse me, because the tripod that I have now does not get as slim as this. But basically, like, the directions are kind of confusing to me ever so slightly. Because it says you have to pull this up first. Oh. And then you have to press the, there's a button on the bottom that says push. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be upside down. But it says push on the bottom here. You push that. Wait, you push that and then these pop open, but the directions say not to go like this. Like, I don't, I don't understand that. It's a picture that says don't pull like that. I don't know. 
but then it comes with a charger like what am i charging so i just <laughs> i don't know but basically you're able to pop this little but this little part out because i think it's a remote so you're able to oops just pop that part out and then oh, okay i think you're charging this because this is a bluetooth i guess you can hook this up to take pictures and little like you know clicker basically but i don't I don't know I never really use a clicker I honestly will just <laughs> I honestly just use my timer on my phone because it's already on my phone you know but I don't know um I guess a clicker wouldn't hurt but I just be like I just be winging it when I'm taking pictures um so yeah it's pretty cute very like compact like I said they have it in different colors you can just put your phone up here I love the sleek design like the the, the, the sleek design is everything and you just literally put your phone here. You can turn it. Wait. I'm about to break it. Wait. Which way is it? It's a way you can. Oh, this way. See, I'm about to break it. So you can turn it this way. Because this is usually how I record. Like if you're doing a mini vlog and whatever. And you just record this way. So very sleek. I actually really love the design. I'm definitely going to be putting this thing to work, baby. This thing is going to be. <laughs> this thing about to go everywhere. So. Yeah, you can never have too many tripods, um, especially for someone like me who likes to take pictures and I will keep one in my car. I think I actually already have a tripod in my trunk, but that's a, that's a different story. So, yeah. Um, the next thing I want to get is some more lights. I saw Judy got some lights, which were cute. I have some lights in my um, Amazon cart. So, but as a creator, you just never stop. <laughs> you always need something, some type of light, some type of adjustment tripod whatever the case may be so i'm excited about it honestly and just put this bad boy back in its position call it a day so that's it <laughs> i think i told you guys already that i recorded it on my camera because i just wasn't beat for my phone it was saying i didn't have any storage already i'm just over that so yeah that's about it i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna wear or oh, i'm gonna take my hair out which I don't feel like doing. It has to be like 12.30. Yes, yeah, 12.21. So I'm about to take my hair out and get that done and out of the way. Um, and yeah. Bye. Um... This is crazy. This is kind of this, this. This is a lot of hair. But I knew I was gonna. I knew I was gonna um, lose a lot of hair. Try to detangle before I wash it. As you guys can see, the front was straightened. Hopefully that doesn't. Hopefully it's not damaged in the front. We are gonna see, child. So much dandruff. But let's wash it. To all around me, get anxious. Let me go. Make a shot for you. Ain't it dark right now? Feeling lost when I like it. Comfort in my sins, not about me. All I got right now. Feel a bit of resentment. Some more in my skin, it's all about you. Just ain't on my shirt, no bitch on my nerves. Right now.